Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Frank the Ghost Martin, the undefeated top contender at the lightweight division. Then we have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, the undefeated three-division world champion. Um, Tank is arguably the face of boxing. He's most definitely the hottest young star in the game. And him and Frank Martin about to get it on in June. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Javante Tank Davis has been putting in that work, and he's been in overdrive. You understand what I'm saying? Look at Tank, man. He's putting in that work, and he is in overdrive. Now, we've seen Tank hit the scale. He was at 138 pounds. We know he got to make 135, so he's only three pounds off weight. So all he's doing is focusing on the game plan and getting ready for a very talented, skillful you know, Frank Martin, because he know he got his work cut out for him. But this Javante Tank Davis, man, is the most dangerous Javante Tank Davis ever. Frank probably getting the most focused, physical, hungry, determined Javante Tank Davis that we probably ever seen, fam. You understand? Nobody's seen Tank at 138 this far out, you know what I'm saying, from the fight. So we are in for a treat. We are in for a treat. Now, when it comes to Frank, you know, Frank don't hold back nothing neither. Frank, he's been making his rounds on, on his interviews. Frank been letting people know what happened in the sparring session with him and Tank. And, man, he's putting in that hard work. He working with Derrick James. They locked in 120%. You got Earl Spence behind him standing strong. You know, his confidence is through the roof. His support system is, is, is standing, you know, 10 toes down. And um, he's ready to go out there and show people that he belongs, man. He's ready to go out there and show people that he belongs. And I respect that to the utmost. To the utmost. Win, lose, or draw, you don't want to leave no stone unturned. And you want to go in that ring giving everything you got in a moment like this. You feel me? This is probably your only chance. I ain't going to say only, but the only chance you might get on this stage with somebody like a Javante Tank Davis. So you want to make the most of it. You feel me? You want to make the most of it because Tank, we know his resume. We know his, his pedigree. We know what he is to the sport. We've seen what happened to certain fighters that go in there, and, you know, they even hang with Tank. They name even get bigger. So this is a blessing in disguise, you know, to, to share the ring with Javante. Let's, let's not just say to be on his platform, but to share the ring with him is a blessing. And these type of fights are here goes down in history, man. Goes down in history. It's all about what you do in the ring, how you take advantage of your opportunity, and you showing up and showing out. You did. But we see Tank, he want to make sure that he go out there and put on the best performance, you know what I mean, that, that he can put on. Um, we know the history with these two. We know the history between Earl and Tank. And like I said in my last, well, in one of my videos with Tank, he's ready to prove everybody wrong. He's ready to prove everybody wrong. You understand? And it's up to Frank Martin to go out there to make sure he don't. You feel me? Um, when you look at Frank, man, you see hard work, dedication, determination. Hard work, dedication, determination. And if I had to have a fighter in my stable, if I had to be a trainer of a fighter, I would love for my fighter to be like Frank. I really would. Don't get out of shape. Don't complain. Keep his head down, grind, you feel me? Go out there listening to the game plan, and then you got to go execute. You know what I mean? Then you got to go execute. And I think Frank Martin, he can do all that, especially coming into the game. When he came into the game, Frank didn't start off doing this type of shit. He wasn't a fighter in the beginning. Just like Earl Spence. Earl Spence didn't start the 15. Frank started late. But you see the skill set, bro. You see the athleticism. You see the hard work, the grind, and the determination. You feel me? And you're going to need all that up against this dude right here. You're going to need every inch of it, every ounce of it, every bit of it when you're going up against somebody like a Javante Tank Davis. Who got the speed? Who got the power? Who got the IQ? Who got the footwork? You know what I mean? Who got the heart? Who got the grit? You understand? And he's been on the stage so many times before, so... Tank going to be poised inside that ring, bro. He's going to be poised. 
He know what it's like to go 12 rounds in a, in a fight of this magnitude. He know what it's like to go seven rounds, eight rounds. He know what it's like when the crowd start getting crazy and amped, right? Seeing all the celebrities out there and sitting down and, you know, the pressure. He can deal with all that, bro, because of the experience that he had. You know what I mean? And like I said, he really want to go out there and show people that, listen, this is my canvas. These dudes are, are you know, just another notch under my belt, and they can't fuck with me. You feel me? They can't fuck with me. That's the skills that Tank bring into the ring, and that's what he want to prove. But, Frank, like I said, Frank Martin, he got to go out there and prove him wrong, man. got to go out there and prove him wrong, especially with EJ backing you. We seen Earl take to his Twitter, said Frank stand focused. He's not letting nothing get to him, block out everything. No family members, no kids, no, well, I don't think Frank got kids, but no nothing. You feel me? Block everything out. The friends, everything going to pause, bro. Everything going to pause. All I'm doing is working my ass off, eating right, sleeping, getting up, working my ass off, eating right, sleeping, wake up, working my ass off until this fight is over with. You know what I'm saying? Until this fight is over with because I want to be 120% locked in. I don't want to leave no stone unturned. I don't want to have no woulda, coulda, shouldas, right? If I lose this fight, I know I lost it and I gave it my all. That's the only thing that you can ask for, fam. The only thing you can ask for. But if you're victorious, boy, oh boy, if you're victorious, the hard work, the dedication, the determination, the grind, the grit, the stand down, the sacrifices, all that shit is going to be worth it, man. All of it is going to be worth it. You know, but I'm seeing a lot of haters out here who just praying on Javante Tank Davis' downfall. A lot of cats, oh, man, if Tank lose, I'm telling you, man, oh, I'm going to fire his ass up. Oh, man, my live stream is going to be on fire. I'm going to go for probably about 10 hours, man. Oh, man, this, oh, man, that. And they hating on it because they feel like Devin Haney supposed to be Frank Martin right now. They jealous because Frank Martin got an opportunity at history and Devin ain't fighting Tank. Man, give Frank the respect that he deserves, man. Quit playing with Frank like he ain't one of those. You did? But Javante Tank Davis, man, is working his ass off, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we all know the history when people like to say, oh, man, Tank, he missed weight. I can't believe they're still saying that shit. But nonetheless, Javante Tank Davis, he missed weight, man. You know, he did see that. Man, Tank cleared up all that shit, got it together. We all know what he was doing when he was with A.B. He was fucking off and things of that nature. Still coming to the ring and knock a motherfucker out. But he want the best Javante Tank Davis. But ever since Tank been calling his own shots, you know, ever since he put down the alcohol, you seen Tank fully focused, bro, giving us the best of the best. Hector Garcia, Ryan Garcia, now he to give us Frank Morton. Those all Javante Tank Davis calls. All Javante Tank Davis calls. And if y'all tell me that those three fights ain't ain't great fights, then y'all just some haters, man. Y'all just some haters. You know what I mean? But what I like about Javante Tank Davis is he's respecting the sport, he's respecting the fans, and he's respecting himself. He's respecting himself. He's putting that hard work in. He's not going to cheat himself out of a, a, a you know, a big-time opportunity and, you know, he want to go out there and make sure that he's the best Javante Tank Davis that he can be when that bell go ding, ding. And if you can't respect that, you can't respect nothing. You know what I mean? So big shots out to Tank, man, for, like I said, respecting the sport, the fans, and most of all, respecting himself. Because a fighter like Frank Martin, you don't want to be bullshit. You don't. Because Frank will sneak up on your ass and take that motherfucking W and ride off into the sunset become one of the biggest names in the sport and you'll be looking pissed off because you feel like, man, I didn't put the work in that I was supposed to put in. I half ass it. I took him lightly and things like that. So this is a big time respect to Frank Martin as well because we never seen Tank, you know what I'm saying, this hungry, this dead. I ain't going to say we never seen him like this, but just to see him this hungry and see him this dedicated just shows he knows he in a fight with, with somebody that he got to show up and show out against. He want to prove a big time point. You did. So, shouts out to Javante, man, for staying fully focused, giving us Javante Tank Davis fans, you know, the respect that we deserve. You know what I mean? By putting in that hard work and going into the ring 120%. You know 
And shouts out to Frank Martin for also doing the same thing because he know the opportunity that he got here and he don't want to let it slip or he don't want to lose because he felt like he was bullshit and didn't do everything they were supposed to do. Like I said, if you lose doing everything you're supposed to do, you just tip your head and respect that. You know what I mean? But June will tell. Shouts out to both of y'all dudes, man. I fuck with both. Can't wait to see y'all boys get it on. Straight like that and money be on to the next.